This ice cream scoop is bull If you have a thing of warm water and you keep dipping it in, it's just a better scoop, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. Tell me about your very first job. My very first job was working as an ice cream scooper at Swenson's Ice Cream Parlor. I think I was about 14, possibly 15. And what did you learn on your very first day? To be honest, on my very first day, I really learned how hard it was to sort of work a job like that in the service industry. And I was working, you know, whatever it was, an eight hour shift. I was exhausted. And I, my right arm was, was really sore. What were your job responsibilities? Um, well, my, my job responsibilities were to scoop ice cream, period. I zeroed in on how much I liked ice cream. And I sort of used that to do the scooping with. Except one day, and I will admit to you it was my final day, <laughs> I was asked to man the cash register. But nobody had told me how to work a cash register. And then all of a sudden the thing ran out of receipt paper and I had to run and go find somebody. And I left with the register drawer open. Yeah, I did. Was anything stolen? Fortunately, everybody who was in line, they were all very honest. So nobody ripped off the cash register. But when I came back, the manager was there who was 18. He said, what do you think you're doing, young lady? He said to me in front of all these people. And I was completely intimidated by this 18 year old. And he made me cry, it was just, just terrible. I mean, he was right. I did leave the register drawer open. So that, that, was, the, uh, that was the end of my life at Swenson's. What do you think you learned from that experience? Not to have an 18 year old boss. And truthfully, after working there just a few days, I found ice cream to be completely repulsive. <laughs> I did. Really? Yeah. It was just gross to smell it all day long. And you know, it just, it lost its allure. Now I, I'm back to loving it. Did you even get a paycheck? Yeah, I did. I got a paycheck. I'm sure I did. Oh yeah, that was great. To get, to actually get paid was really very, uh, that was a good feeling. I can't tell you what, how much it was for. I don't know what I bought with that money. I hope it wasn't more ice cream. <laughs> I know you also got your start in comedy at Northwestern and then at Second City. Mm -hmm. When I went to Northwestern, I sort of further, shall we say, honed my improv skills. It was already sort of part of the kind of thing that I liked to do, that is to say, make sketches and things like that. But it became more of a, a technique that I was aware of, and it's informed my life ever since. How has improv informed your life? Improvisation is really a, a great, well, it's a great life skill because it really does require listening. Because if you don't have a script and you're just creating stuff out of the ether, you have to really be involved in the scene. You have to really be listening to the people you are with in the scene in order to behave appropriately or honestly or authentically. And so it's a great acting exercise called listening. How do you deal with stage fright? Well, it is, in fact, adrenaline. It's sort of like a gas for my engine. And I guess too much of it can take you outside of yourself, but just, just the right amount can be useful. Was there someone who was a big influence on you? His name was Sheldon Patinkin. He's since passed away, but he was um, one of the founders of Second City. He was an extraordinary human being, very generous, very funny, and incredibly wise. He was a huge mentor for us. Was there a lesson that you think about every day from him? Not thinking about solely your own performance, but really being part of a team or of an ensemble, even if you're starring in it, doesn't matter. The advice that applies to all performance and really sort of the human experience is to be thoughtful, to listen, and to be generous, whether you're in a scene with another actor, or of course, if you're in a relationship, uh, that works as well. And what's a piece of advice you would give to a younger self? Oh gosh, one piece of advice I would give my younger self is to just relax, it's gonna be okay. And also trust your instincts, you're right. <laughs> and that's the end of my masterclass on ice cream scoops. <laughs>